Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing a project which basically the real time clock uh, the data or the information is going to be, be pushed on the uh, this LCD the 16 by 2 okay for this project we need the Arduino Nano we're using the Illigo Nano and we're using the uh, USB cable with it some jumper wires 10k potentiometer the real-time clock module this one is the DS3231 uh, comb battery uh, 220 ohm resistor and a breadboard basically so I have my schematics on the piece of paper and also commented in the code first what we're gonna do and verify that we have the correct uh, wiring for the 16 by 2 LCD so this is the uh, wiring. I'm gonna wire her up. If you can't understand it from here, you could basically read the comments in the Arduino code provided in the description, and then you will get it to work. Okay, so this is the code for the LCD. Uh, the most important thing I have commented out is the circuit. This shows you each pin and the connections to the uh, nano. Okay, um, and then we have the credits for the people who wrote the library, and then I have the modifications um, done by me in the comments on top. Okay, the these are the pins that we used. 12, 11, 5, etc. Okay, and we just print hello world. In the void loop, I have commented out these stuff. Um, so, say if you want to set the cursor horizontally or vertically, you could choose the number between like 0 to 16 because it's 16 by 2, uh, and the vertical is just 0 and 1 or 1 and 2. It really depends on. And then if you want to print something to the LCD, you want to say LCD.print and then write whatever you want to print. And then it's really important to clear whatever you print um, after a delay. That way you don't uh, print messages over messages okay, or laid on top of each other. So I'm going to upload the code, but before that I'll make sure that I'm connected on the same port. So if this is, if this is the correct connections on the uh, Arduino, um, you're gonna see the hello world on the LCD awesome so as you can see uh, we printed that command right there so the next step it's gonna be um, installing or wiring the real-time clock is we gonna uh, use the real-time clock module get an autofocus and the only connections that we need is the ground VCC SDA and SCL um, okay so just have it in place <laughs> modules you actually need to install the library I'll show you how to install a library for Arduino uh, for this video and then later on I will just tell you the name of the library that you need and you could do it on your own all right so as you can see I have the uh, real-time clock module hooked up um, to the nano okay and then now we need to download the library so I went on github and I downloaded the real-time clock library I click download a clone or download and I download the zip file okay so I have it in my uh, real-time clock folder okay 
and the way the way I uh, you download the library or you import the library is just say open a new sketch and then you hit sketch include library from zip add a zip library click on that and then I have it on my desktop and then my YouTube folder okay and then my real-time clock and I have it right here click open and since I already have it it says it already exists so when you once you once you have the library you would be able to see the exam uh, if you go to examples you will be able to see all the examples from that library so I believe it's gonna be the RTC lib did I miss it right here okay and so for the modules we're using is DS3231 I'm not gonna use the example um, just because there is issues with it I had to do some modifications so what I will do is I will jump to the code that I have for the real-time clock it's just basically the same as the examples however they print like uh, seven minutes later seven minutes before and all that stuff and I truly don't want that garbage okay so I have the code right here I'll go f over it fairly quickly we have the connections right here just in case if you could not catch them from the video okay so um, that on top okay what's really important it's this for statement right here so if you don't do this it's not gonna set up the time as you would like it to be um, I have for I equals zero I is less than or equal to one I plus plus I just want it to go inside this for loop once and then never go back again so this basically where we want to set up the time to be today is August the 2nd and the time right now it's uh, 3 and 58 p.m. which means it's 15 and 58 p.m. okay um, and here it's basically gonna print the day and then the uh, year month day and then it's gonna print the hour minute and second and that's it okay this is gonna be done on the serial monitor so we will upload this code just to verify that the connections are correct okay Oh gosh I forgot to select the board so again so just make sure that you select the board the port every time you upload your code okay as you can see too on the LCD it's uploading the code over there I guess so open the serial monitor yeah awesome so you could see that the today is Wednesday and then the time and then start printing out uh, worth mentioning that this is a military time I'll show you in the next code where we're gonna print it on the LCD um, how to convert that military time to standard AM PM kind of thing okay so for this code is where we are gonna uh, display the time on the LCD um, display okay and we gonna take care of the military time situation um, these are the connections again in case of you don't remember them okay and I've combined both codes together right here um, okay and then for this purpose or right now we set the time to be 19 42 and 50 second that means it's uh, 7 42 minutes and 50 seconds and it's 7 p.m. okay uh, the first thing we're gonna display on the LCD it's gonna be on the f zero zero which means on the top we're gonna display the date and then in the second um, row we're gonna display the day the day of the week okay and we spaced it with five decimals if you want to say that okay we have a delay of 3000 seconds that way you just see the date for a solid piece uh, solid amount of minutes or seconds and then now here's the magic so 
if now the hours is above 12 or greater than 12 that means it's 13 uh, 14 so forth in the afternoon what we're gonna do is initialize an integer okay and then subtract that time from 12 and uh, I just named my integer to be LC underscore PM uh, to stands for my city which is Las Cruces New Mexico okay and PM to know that it's PM obviously all right so I'll have the name of the city on top and then um, on the second row I'll get, I'll display the time and it's gonna indicate it by PM okay else that means it's still in the morning we're just gonna display the time and with a delay of 2000 just simple code okay and watch out to my LCD uh, dot clear that way we don't overwrite data on top of each other uh, we're gonna upload this code okay worth mentioning that sometimes if the time does not set up on the LCD you just have to unplug and replug the USB back also I don't have the coin battery plugged in my RTC right now I'll plug it whenever I finish my code 100% that way say if you plug it to a wall charger or anything you will have the correct time okay so right now I uploaded the code um, as you can see that the time is not fixed it should be 7 as we said but right now it says it's 14 um, what we can do is unplug as I said and re plug it back in okay Zoom in there. Here we go. Seven <coughs> forty-two and uh, fifty second p.m. So that would be it for this video. Um, if you like it, please share, like, subscribe. That'll mean a lot to me. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if you need any help. Thank you so much, and as always. Have a good day.